All right, so welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 4. Uh, should be video number, I, I forgot, is it 152? I, I think so, yeah. If I got it wrong, I'll put it in the bottom left, but... So anyways, let's, yeah, let's keep going. Uh, this is getting so interesting. I I really wanted to see this, all the other heroes from three different, well, the other two uh, different countries that I've, you know, the other games I've never played yet. So uh, let's keep going here. <laughs> Yep, thank, thank you. you. Well, at the very least, you've gotten a bit more tame since the first day you bucked into the branch campus. <laughs> bucked? Duh, come on, Randy! Let me have my moment! <laughs> Randy, man, he's awesome. Oh, right! Elisa, over here! Ellie, you look amazing! It's been too long. I'm so glad you guys finally got the chance to reunite. Oh, that's right. Elisa and Ali met up about three months ago, huh? Hmm. Yep. Elisa's the granddaughter of the Reinford Company's founder. Not to mention a Thor's alumnus. Thank you, Elisa. Though, I don't think I look even half as good as you. <laughs> That's Reen's girl for you. Allow me to congratulate you on your reunion as well. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Oh. Oh, this is it. I Reen. suppose I'd better introduce myself for those of you who don't know me. Oh, <laughs> Lloyd already knows. My name is Reen Schwarzer, graduate of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. Ellie, Estelle, Joshua, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is ours. Elisa's told me quite a bit about you already. Perhaps a bit too much, actually. Oh, Ellie! <laughs> Man, look at these protagonists around in the circle like this. Man. I definitely know you by now, after all the stories we've heard. Man, Joshua, Lloyd, Reen, holy cow. From Tita's letters, and Ren, even Olivier, and Toval. Oh, man. I see. It's no surprise you knew His Highness, but I wasn't aware you knew Toval, too. Oh, yep. Toval. We met back on our first trip in Erebonia. He helped us out a bunch. Oh, wow. Man. It's good to meet you, Reen. This has definitely been a long time coming. Don't worry. You can loosen up around us. We're the same age, more or less, right? <laughs> Got it. I think I'll take you up on that. Looking forward to working with you guys. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, to stop the twilight and to stop that war. All together. Yes. Handshake. As are we. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ash, come on, Ash. Joshua, right there. The survivor. It's been a while, Lloyd. How have you been? Busy, to say the least. It's been crazy this past year and a half. I really owe you for your help during Operation Birdcage. Oh, yeah, that birdcage is more bullshit. I hated that in the third game. Damn it. I hated that birdcage. Operation birdcage. Yep, this is when they see them in I'm the train sure I'll get when the they chance leave. To return the favor, though. I get the feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more of each other. Man, where's Rixia? You know, the partner up with Lloyd in the the second game, you know. From here on, Reen, we fight on the same side. As equals. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh I Instructor Reen? Uh-oh. Honestly, I'm not sure I even deserve to shake your hand. Oh, come on, Rain, shake your hand. I'm sure you've heard I shake his hand. about what I've done. The mistake I made. It's not your fault, man. You didn't know, man. Yeah, because he was fighting against uh, Lloyd, and man, he didn't know <sighs> what was going on. Yeah, and Altina was there with Rain, too. Rain. Man. Hmm. <laughs> Crow. Yeah, that fight. Oh my god. Yep, the crossbell bell curse. And it's my fault that the curse spread throughout not only the Empire, but Crossbell too. Oh yeah, that one too, man. It's the same with North Ambria and Jirai as well. Even this awful war with Calvert. As a sacrifice. I have no idea how I can even begin to apologize. No, Reen. That's wrong. It's my duty as a detective to look beyond what's on the surface. You want to know what I see? I see that this was all a setup from the very start. 
Nothing you could have done would have possibly changed the outcome. Mm -hmm. It was all a setup since way back in the first game, which we didn't know about, uh, you know, Osborne. I see a man who, despite it all, never fell to despair. A man who continues to push back, even huh. at this very moment. Not just for Crossbell, or even Erebonia. But for the world itself and all who reside in it. Yep. Within you lies the strength of countless allies, helping you move forward through whatever may come. I'd like the SSS to be a part of that, Reen. To be one of those allies there by your side. Oh, uh, yeah. Empire or Crossbell, where we're from doesn't matter anymore. Now we're fighting for the world itself. Together. Oh my gosh, Lloyd has better words than you, Reen. Damn, this is how you say it. Lloyd. Lloyd, man, you're cool, man. Can't wait to pray Crossbell or, you know, from zero. <laughs> this guy, I swear. <laughs> this guy, yo. <laughs> Now I understand why you look up to him the way you do. <laughs> yep. Told you he was great. <laughs> great wow. protagonist. How am I supposed to follow up a speech like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. Shake hands. I'll gladly there you go. take your words to heart. It's good to have you with us, Lloyd. Yep. This is a good thumbnail right here. I'll be honest with you. Our situation is looking grim. And it's only going to get worse from here. Oh, yeah. But that's never stopped us before. With you on board, we'll overcome every barrier in our way. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Man, this that is goes for us too. We Liberlians got your back. Yeah, li liberal, which is Trails of the Sky. Oh my god, th this is amazing, this game. You know, that we get to see all of them. This, this, this whole series is so connected. <laughs> I see you've saved me the trouble of rounding you up. Oh, that's uh, General Le Guin. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, there she Principal is. Principal Le Guin. <laughs> Man, she's all dressed up for Reen, of course. He's aiming for Reen. Right on time. Is everything ready? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, the plan. Is she? General Aurelia Le Guin, commander of the Viceland Army. Uh-huh. Wow. I can tell this lady's a serious badass. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. She is one of the badass of many. That's an understatement. <laughs> she's one of the greatest swordmasters of our generation. Oh, uh, yeah. Now she's becoming stronger than, uh, you know, her uh, teacher, which is uh, a Radiant Blade Master. Man, in the third game, she gotten stronger. Bracers of Liberal. Special support section. Allow me to introduce myself. Oh, my gosh. I am Aurelia Le Guin. Well met, all of you. Man, I'm so glad she's on our side. I'd love to chat with each of you individually, of course. But time is of the essence. Huh. I suspect our other guests are anxious to get things underway. Oh yeah, they're still coming here, huh? There's still more. Well, let's go. Oh, here they are. <gasps> huh, wait a minute. What? I knew it. Wait a minute, I know that girl right there in the right a little bit. And that girl on the left from Remiferia, right? Hold on. Okay, who are they? Well, if it isn't the special support section, I do believe it's been around two years since our paths last crossed. Huh. Who's Though this it guy? it seem Arios is not with you this time around. A pleasure to see you again, your lordship. Uh-oh. Our apologies. Arios had some pressing matters to attend to. Though he did make sure to send his regards. Hmm. Huh. Is that so? I suppose I expected as much. A man in his position seldom has any time to spare. Princess Elfin, I bring you my greetings and condolences both. We received news of Emperor Eugen's condition, as well as the tragedy that befell Prince Oliver. Man, that sucks. Oh yeah, they're still undergoing that surgery. I forgot how much percent was it, but man, hopefully. I'm just crossing my fingers. I can only imagine the pain this must put you through. Man. You have my deepest sympathies. At least the the queen is okay, you know. And you have my sincerest appreciation, your lordship. I must admit, I didn't expect to be able to meet with you so soon. Huh. Nor did I. A silver lining in the dark cloud that brought us here. Gentle Lady Mildine, allow me to thank you once again for the invitation. The gratitude is ours, your lordship. It's an honor to receive you. Damn. <laughs> this is quite an extraordinary crowd we have here. I wonder who's this guy. If I would have played the other games, damn. 
Man, I apologize, you guys, but I didn't know, you know, but I gotta keep going. Correct me if I'm wrong, SSS, but it was oh. two years ago that we last met as well, was it not? Yes, back at the trade conference. Oh, the way at the trade conference. Wait a minute. It's good to see you again, sir. Wasn't that the one that we had to stop this terrorist thing at Oh, forget it. Never mind. I guess it was... I don't remember. It was a long time. Princess Alfin, Lady Mildine. I don't believe I've ever formally had the pleasure. Hmm. Though I suppose in a way we aren't entirely unfamiliar with each other. I had the privilege of meeting your brother, you see, back during the conference. Oh, yes. He mentioned you before. Pleased to finally make your acquaintance. Huh, so Prince Oliver knows this guy. Man, Prince Oliver is such a legend, man, of heroes. I mean, he's been also traveling all around the world also. Not only uh, Crossbell, even in Liberal also. Trails of the Sky. He's such a really important um, character. Knowing you're here helps put into perspective the true scale of Operation Meal Mirage. Huh, Melia, man. Uh, Mirage. It's an honor to have you. We do appreciate you taking the time to come. Huh. After all, I'm sure you of all people have been particularly busy of late. President Rocksmith. President Rocksmith, huh? What? 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 No way! <laughs> so that's how this is gonna go. <laughs> I don't even know how to react. <laughs> how silly of us. I didn't realize we had neglected to make our introductions. Huh. In that case, allow me to go first. Okay. Ruler, the principal, Remiferia, Albert von Bar Barthol I am oh, Albert wow. von Bartholomeus, Grand Prince of the Principality of Remiferia. So, okay, Remiferia, that's their country, okay. It's a pleasure to meet you, students and alumni of Thor's Military Academy. Man, lots of important people. And <laughs> look at this guy, Samuel Rocksmith, head of the Calvert I'm Republic. Samuel Rocksmith, president of the Republic of Calvert. Oh my gosh. I'm sure I'm the last person you would expect to see here. Prince the Albert's president. one thing, but President Rocksmith? Oh my god, this guy is very important of that whole country um, of Calvert. Calvert is a really big place. I'm not kidding. I looked, I did look it up online. Well, no spoilers, but I only look at a, a huge world map. And yeah, Calvert is big. I mean, compared to the size of, uh, you know, Erebonia. Damn, so he's the president of Calvert. Indeed. And in person, no less. Damn. It's nice we get to meet him, this. What's the president of Calvert doing here? We're on the verge of war. Yeah. So we got... Dude, this meeting is important. We got to talk peace, you know, for now, but... That is exactly why I chose to attend, Machius Regnitz. Uh, yeah. Ah, and you must be the acting Duke Alberea. And, hmm, your fee Clausel, correct? Man, this guy knows. This is the reason why he's the president. Man. Let me guess. She told you. Oh, yeah. Yep, that we met them in that, um, rest lodge in. As I suspected, you work for Calvert's Central Intelligence Department. Oh, wow. Yep. Second Lieutenant. Wow, damn. And this one. That's Lucy Salen, secretary to the prince. That's right. I'm a second lieutenant in the CID, as well as a member of the Special Force Hercules. Oh yeah, because that's the that's the thing I was thinking about. The that was looking for her brother, the only survivor, you know, from that sewers thing from the third game. Yeah, the Hercules. Thanks Damn. for your help before, by the way. I'm Lucy Saland, private secretary to the Grand Prince. Wow. For those of you we met before, it's a pleasure to see you again. Yep. Now I understand. You were investigating Erebonia's internal affairs to prepare for today's meeting. Uh-huh. Wait, back up a sec. If the heads of Remiferia and Calvert are here, then... Yep. There's only one more big nation we're missing. Oh, uh, yeah. <gasps> it would seem they've arrived. <gasps> Wait a minute. They made it. Wait. Oh, you have got to be shitting me. <laughs> Liberal has just as much a stake in this as anyone else, after all. Yeah, don't forget Liberal. Wait, this guy's really important. 
Man, I don't know <gasps> who these characters, man. If only I played... It's the Princess of Liberal. And princess. beside her... Man, today's just full of surprises, oh, isn't I, it? Oh, I bet this guy's a <laughs> badass. This guy's strong, Sorry for the delay. I have to say, this is the most luxurious ship I've ever seen. Man. Thank you once again for inviting us. Oh, wow. Look at her. Man, if only I played Trails of the Sky. Crown Prince is liberal. Wow. Dude, I bet this guy is a badass. That, oh, wow. Lieutenant General Cass... Wait, Cassius Bright. Wait a minute. My name is Claudia von Auslis. I will be participating on behalf of Queen Alicia II of Liberal. Oh, Delighted wow. to make your acquaintance, everyone. Cassius Bright, Lieutenant General of the Royal Army of Liberal. Unfortunately, we don't really have time for pleasantries. How about we get straight down to business? Oh, damn. Oh, holy cow. So that's all three. Calvert, Liberal, and oh my god. Holy shit. This is so good. Damn. If I would have played the other games before. My bad, you guys, then. Yep. Damn, they're all together. There's a lot of badass characters and smart ones, intelligence ones, and, you know. Yep, she had to go just back to her thing again, you know, uh, Muse. Yep, the discuss the plans. Holy cow. They gotta stop this war, I mean, well, while the heroes are, you know, more chit-chat, uh, they gotta go. Oh, well, see ya, Randy, and... Man, everyone their separate ways like after this meeting, you know. Feels like this feels more like a summit than an informal meeting of concerned parties. Yeah, but Eusis and Angelica must have known this was coming, right? Yes, music plan to include it in representatives from powers outside Erebonia. Right from the beginning. Though we had no idea who exactly would be invited or in attendance. Turns out Operation Bull Mirage has many influential backers. And the Lieutenant General of Liberal is among them. This guy. Cassius Bright. I bet he's a really good swordsman. The tactical genius who stopped the Empire's invasion during the hundred Oh the Hundred Days War. After the war, he left the army and worked as a bracer for a while. Huh. He and my father were good friends. Oh my gosh. The the Radiant uh, Blade Master. I think I remember something involving him four years ago. Multiple Erebonia branches of the guild were blown up. Damn. When we started in Liberal, he rejoined the army. What the heck? And now that he's having a friendly chit chat with the president of Calvert. Whose country is about to get invaded by our Wow. That Muse is an ex excellent matchmaker. Damn, that makes sense. She even reached out to Mermiferia. Wow. In a similar situation as Liberal right now. Yeah. The Empire's pressuring both on of them to allow the army safe passage through. Neither are particularly willing to do so, but they fear retaliation should they decline. Refusal could be considered uh, construed by as siding with Calvert. Small nations can't afford to be so sort of overwhelming. Oh wow! Huh? Belligerent Arabonia. Yeah, that's probably the be the main topic of discussion today, I think. While those nations can't openly oppose the Empire, we, along the Bracer and the yep, SSS, are more free to take action. This is a good opportunity to speak with other parties involved. Not just Liberal and Crossbill, but Remiferia and even Calvert, too. The, there is no better time for us to exchange information. It's also the ideal time to speak one's mind freely. After discussion have concluded, I'd like to speak with the Grand Prince and the President myself. 
<laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. Though I, w I wouldn't mind exchanging a few words with them either. I'd like to talk with Ellie if there's time. The Crown Princess Claudia, too. Seriously, well, I guess this is your best shot at getting close to her. By the way, Ash. Yeah, don't you enjoy- I, I've been saying that, like, in the last video. Come on, you're the survi you're the third survivor of that town, you know, in Hamel. Unfortunately, one of them is, oh man, passed away with socks. Which, I, you know, I didn't play that game, my bad. Look, that ain't confirmed, and I don't really remember him. Huh. Still, you two might want to talk and clear things up. <laughs> yeah, that's what this thing's all about, isn't it? There's going to be a dinner after the main talks. We can talk about more personal stuff then. The principal invited us here, so there's no point in acting like wallflowers. Yes, let's make the most of it. Yeah. Because remember, uh, I mean, this will be the last time to, you know, to see everyone each other again, but I should go around and talk to the attendees myself. I definitely want to check in with those from Liberal and Cospell. Might as well talk to- man, I gotta talk to a lot of people here. Yep, from Calvert and Remiferia too, while I'm at it. Uh-oh. Your party has temper- okay, disbanded. For now, the main story will progress once you see the required- Okay, sub event, which is the exclamation mark, I bet. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I control now? Oh man, this takes me back. Just like in Trails of Cold Steel 2. Oh my gosh, yep, gotta talk to everyone. I don't think we can disturb the meeting over here. Very important. What the? Card game? Who? Who? Wait, I think I have to talk to someone and then it reveals the card game. Vantage Masters? Oh my god, there's so much to do. Hold on, upstairs? Oh my god. Actually, this is where the meeting... Yep, I cannot bother. Nope. Oh my god, this takes me back, but... I believe it was like around right here, this table here, where we... Sat down with uh, Phantom Thief B. It's too bad he's not here again, you know, with uh... With uh, Ren, you know. <laughs> okay. Wait, Pentagrill 1, what's over here? Can I go here? Oh, upper deck. I don't need to go there at the moment. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that Operation Yormanger. Oh, uh, yeah, that thing. Chancellor Osborne's government must be stopped. Justice is on our side. I hope if we can stop him. I mean, you're talking to Reen, uh, you know, the son of Osborne right here in front of you, man, but. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah, I remember these rooms that we had to meet each, like, you know, Crow. Uh, you know, uh, I think that used to be Ali Ali's room, uh, Altina. <laughs> oh my god, this brings back memories. I think Doobly the Swift room was here before. Actually, we also had to talk to, uh, what's his name, man? Uh, Mick Byrne in the second game. Alright, let's just... Keep going. My bad, you guys. Uh, uh. All right. Let's. Uh, I got like around 11 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Dubly the Swift and uh, okay, Rosine. Where's Thomas? I thought Thomas would be here, but I guess not. Oh, there you are. Introducing yourself to all the important people, are you? Thought it wouldn't hurt. So what are you up to? Not much. We're merely standing around. I've been on this airship before, yep. I've seen all there is to it. Anyway, the talks will soon be over, so I might as well wait here. Tch, is something bothering her? She's not hiding it. Very well, is she? It's about that man from Libro. Huh, Cassius. She's been acting funny or- <gasps> Wait a minute. Wasn't she like the one that- Hold the phone, wait. Oh, I get it. He's a master. Oh, eight leaves, one blade stu- He used to go by the nickname Divine Blade. Oh, he's the Divine- Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. 
No wonder why this Cassie. No wonder why Dubly the Swift like notice about him. Holy cow! So not only Reen, well he learned but by but by uh, Master Kafai, but holy shit, the master of eight leaves, one blade style. Damn. I, man, I wish I played the uh, you know. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about behind my back? Uh oh. It's rude to exclude exclude people from the conversation when they're right there with you. I'm sorry about that. Holy cow, that guy's a badass. Cassius Bright? How are you doing, Rose? He's like a sword master. Everything okay, more or less. I received a report of some Ouroboros activity from the high huh, high seat when I was on the way here. Nothing happened yet, though. So, by the way, there has been some sort of incident. Oh, the holy city of Arteria. I think Emma mentioned something about that, too. Vita might know more about it, but as Lucka would have it, she's not here. Yes. Maybe she'll turn up eventually. Maybe. But as for me, I'd, I'm happy she's keeping her distance. I can relax without her annoying presence. Setting my teeth on edge. <laughs> Enjoy it while you can. Should I ask the staff to fetch you a saucer? <laughs> Warm milk. Good idea. Thanks, Rosine. There you go. Man, no wonder why. She was taught. I think... I, I forgot about that. Cassie is bright. One of my goals is to achieve the pinnacle of mastery as a swordswoman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leonhart, Leonhart was quite a promising individual. With skill almost as great as that of my lord. But, from what I heard about him, that seems to be the case. The up and commerce. I'll need to watch out for the Kunku for both the Purple Lightning and the Arseed Girl. You as well, I suppose. <laughs> what an honor. Speaking of upcoming and sword masters, huh? There's a fellow disciple of the Eight Leaves style who started before I did. Huh. She's not a direct acquaintance, but I've heard that she's Master Kafai's... Oh! I didn't know that. Wait, Master Kafai has a granddaughter? Wait, and she's been practicing since... So, not only Reen, we got Master Kafai's granddaughter, that's one. We got Reen, that's two. We got Cassius Bright, that's three. Oh my god, how many more of them that learns the eight ble Oh my god, this is interesting. Eight leaves. Uh, eight leaves. What well, such a person exists? She's a bracer, huh? From liberal. I don't think she's a direct disciple, but I think she's acquainted with Estelle and the others. I heard from Master Kafai that she's got great potential overall. <laughs> a rival, yeah. <laughs> I will need to see this liberal bracer with my own eyes. Oh. Immediately, Dooley decided that she must be a rival. Well, healthy competition is good, I guess. Wow. That's good to know. A rival. As much as I need to investigate through really today. So preoccupied. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Let's see what, the, what else they say. Even with so many distressing things going on, we cannot let ourselves give into anxiety. If you can, try to clear your mind and relax. I will, thanks, Rosine. Yep, the nun. Yeah, we're just waiting for your milk. I'm trying to relax too. Being stressed all the time isn't good for you. Yeah, true. Alright, so I got five, well, six minutes. Let's talk to one more group and then I'll, oh boy, save the rest for the next video. And plus, we're going to play a card game. I wonder who. Look what we got here. This is an interesting group. We got Lara, Crow, Bardius, and Gaius. Hey. I mean, seriously, look at them. They're like brothers, these two, but no, they're not really. But they have the same blood of, you know, uh, Nord Highland blood. So it's an honor to speak with you again. <laughs> we haven't had a chance to talk really since we were at the, huh, Esmelis Garden. It's been so long. 
I was kind of having an identity crisis when we last met. Somehow, we've always been too busy to really talk. Yeah, true. Damn, all the generals here are strong as hell. Oh, yeah. You managed to hold off McBurn. Oh, yeah, he's freaking strong. All on your own in Lang... Oh, yeah, Langdok Canyon. That's in the third game. That's pretty damn awesome. You don't want to mess with McBurn, man. He's something. My father fought McBurn as well. Though he seemed alright at the time. The damage his body suffered manifested. Oh, yeah, that sucks. That is the reason why he gotten weaker and, like... That's why, um... In the third game that we saw that General Le Guin was doing a spar match against, uh... Lara's father, and that's why she won, and... Damn. He gotten weakened by that fight, uh, by McBurn. That sucks. But, you know, that's what happens when you grow older, too, but... Have you noticed anything similar? No. Luckily, I seem to be perfectly fine. Damn. At least you're okay. You haven't, you haven't got a single burn injury from McBurn? Damn. I don't think it's because McBurn was going easy on me. He seemed dead set on inflicting... Damn, as much pain as possible. I think he might have been particularly vicious when he was fighting Viscount Arsene. Damn, I was worried about Wallace too. Good to know he's okay. It would be nice to have a friendly duel with him one day. Damn, wait, what the? Oh, there's more. Looks like the general hasn't suffered any serious side effects from fighting McBurn, damn. We must train ourselves toward the level of we're going to stand a chance. There's still more Ouroboros members I've never seen yet, probably more missing. Jeez, why is every single general su a superhuman monster on the battlefield? Yeah, from the sound of it, Lieutenant General Bright from Liberals no different. Yeah, Cassius Bright. I was hoping for a chance to talk to him, but... Oh, we'll see. We'll get to talk to him soon. Maybe next video. Let's chat with these two. Well, four of them. Well, well, is that you, Schwarzer? You look awfully serious. Situation's pretty grave. At least I finally have a sense of what direction I should be heading in. Got my allies to thank for that. And for lending me their strength. <laughs> That's good. Man, so many strong characters in this game. Gaius, you seem to have gotten used to your new powers. Barkhorn was a legend. There's no doubt about that. But I think you'll be another. That's kind of you to say so, huh? Well, Gaius and Rain and everyone, you know, old class 7, they'll get stronger soon. And even the new class 7. Hope it won't sound pat uh, patronizing. But I've got... I've been concerned about you. I see that you, you have word. You're doing well for yourself, and you'll go far if you keep it up. I know how to build my confidence. I appreciate it. They both studied under Barkhorn. I'm thankful they've got a good relationship. I should speak with Cassius soon. Oh, yeah. Very soon. Anything else, guys? Brigadier General is startlingly accurate with his observation. I shall take his words to heart. Wish that's for the best, guys. In fact, maybe I should take that advice to mind myself. <laughs> Alright, last one. And I'm gonna end the video, sorry. I've got to say, though, I'm impressed with how far you guys have come. Looking at you, I feel certain you can overcome any challenge if you just work as a team. Thank you. I hope to prove you right. Well... So this is Ray on Trails of Cold Steel 4. Yeah, time's up. Ooh, a piano. Huh. Next time, we're gonna do some more chat in the Pantugro. Let's chat with... Well, next time. Oh, yeah. You. Man. About your brother and that side quest and Raquel. About, you know, the Hercules. He, that's crazy. Why he has to join that group? It's... It's insane. He would've get killed by... Oh, my God. That was... That was messed up, you know. But... Well, well, you know, we'll see what will happen in this game. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, quadra upload. Yeah, that's it for now. And I'm going to take a break here.